How you going guys and welcome to another episode of I've got you outside for a quick weather check. Nice day. A little bit of cloud over this side. Anyway, the wind's picking up. Back to the shed. In this episode of Skull Cam, we're probably going to crack open, crack open the head, take a look inside, see if the rings are good, see if the valves are good, see how dirty it is. But before I get stuck into that, there's something I've got to do real quick over this way. Hang on, excuse the noise. Fair enough, take two. The story goes, I've been mucking around with the pocket bikes and that on the floor, not great for your back. Then randomly the other day, I literally went outside to check the mail and right down the street, just a couple of houses down. I couldn't believe it. Someone was throwing out this old table bench thing. So yeah, I grabbed it. It's not too bad, it's pretty old. A bit beat up in spots. Makes an awesome stand for the pocket bike. And yeah, it beats working on the floor any day. Other than the bike and the things on it, it's a bit plain. I do have a solution for that. In the trusty cupboard, I'll just grab it. The old sticker book. Heaps of old stickers and stuff in here. Anyway, I'm gonna get a heap of those random stickers on the table, just to make it look a bit different. Not so plain. I got that done. A few stickers on there. Back to the bikes. I've got the bikes rearranged, ready to work on the super pocket bike. And if any of you guys are wondering what brand the engine is, it's actually a Lonson. Apparently it's designed in Japan. If any of you guys know much about that brand of engine, uh, stick it down in the comments, let me know. I don't know much about it. I might have to do some Google research. Let's get back to trying to start this thing. Before we take the head off on the super pocket bike, there's a few more things I wanna check out, mainly because once I take the head off, I don't have a new gasket to replace it. So that will be a little bit of a setback in getting it started. Also, it still could just be something minor that we haven't picked up yet, such as the timing. We're gonna check that out. Maybe there's an electrical problem. So we're gonna go over that and check the spark again. And one more thing I wanna try over this side. Let's have a look. I'll just grab the light, stick it down here so we can see what we're doing. The last thing I wanna try is take the spark plug out, stick a bit of fuel down there and see if that helps it start. I'll just grab a couple of spanners from the blue toolbox. little guy here. Now let's take off this cover here and this small cover up the front here. After we've taken those two covers off we can check the timing and see if that's the problem. See if that's why it's not starting. I've taken out these two bolts from down here. One, two. I've loosened this middle one off. Now we can just take this bolt all the way out and remove that cover, just like that. I've got that bolt and that cap off. Let's take a closer look and see how it is. It looks nice and clean in there. That's a good start. So there's a few marks there. There's a little circle up the top here and down this side, there's a couple of markings, LC, and I think the top one's JL. And if you look in this side, there's like actually a notch just up in here. I think I have to line that zero there up with the little mark on the inside of the head. But before we can do that, I've got to take the case off so we can see the marks on the inside of that one. I've loosened this bolt under here. Yeah, that one there. Now we should be able to slide the automatic gear shifter straight off. Stick this up here with the rest of the parts. One, two, three, four, and five bolts to undo. Then we can take that cover off. We've got the bolts out. I've placed them down on the floor. 
in the order they came out so I don't get them mixed up. Let's take this back cover off. Check it out. Have a close look. Now let's get that front half off. It's on there fairly solid. So I'm just gonna use this flat screwdriver to lever it off. Now do a bit on this side. Let's see if I can get that one off now. There we go. We got the case off. Let's take a close look, see what's going on. So if we twist this one around until we find some markings on it. So there we can see the top dead center. And if we take a close look at this one at the front, that little zero mark is lined up with that tiny notch you can see on the casing there. Yeah, right there. So we've got the circle lined up with the little notch. We've got the T at the top, but normally we've got this line here. Trouble is, I can't find anything to line it up with on the casing. There's normally some sort of marking or notch on the casing to line it up with. That's going to make it really hard to set the timing. If you guys have any ideas about this engine and know anything about the timing marks for the Lonson, Stick it in the comments guys, put it down below. I guess I'm just going to have to look for a mark. If I can't find one, I'll put it back together and we'll move on to the next step. After all that, I couldn't sort out the timing, so we had to stick it back together. So now what I'm going to do is take the cover off, check the wiring and make sure we still got spark. Let's check the spark. We've got the spark plug out. It smells like fuel on the end. That's a good sign. Not sure if you're gonna pick up the color on that. It looks a little gray. I'm just gonna turn the lights out. That was a mission to record, but there was a spark there. Now let's stick some fuel down the spark plug hole. We've got some fuel in this thing again. Let's stick it down the hole and see if we can fire it up. I put a drop of fuel in there. I've got the spark plug back in. Let's give it a kick and see if she fires up. Well that didn't start, might put a bit more fuel in the top, another bit of fuel in the bottom and give it another kick. That should be enough. I'll try the choke on.
What a mission of a bike to start. There's a couple of more tips that were left in the comments that I can try. So I guess I might be doing that before I take the head off. But I'm not 100% happy with the spark on the spark plug. When I was doing the test spark earlier, it was kind of inconsistent. So I might have to swap out the spark plug for a new one. And also in the comments, there was a suggestion, maybe the Kickstarter is adjusted too far down and I'm not getting enough kick out of it. So yeah, I'll just have to undo this bolt, pull it off and move it around and put it back on. And one more suggestion I haven't tried from the comments is use a battery to try and start it with the electric start. This one here. There you go, third time isn't always lucky. Before I end this video, I'm trying to start the 80cc Super Pocket Bike. I want to say a big thanks, a big thanks to all the Skullcam subscribers. We're almost up to 2,000 subscribers. And to show my appreciation, I want to give you guys a few shout outs. So if you want a shout out, stick it down in the comments. Stay tuned for the next episode of Skullcam, where we see if I decide to take the head off or give up completely and go straight back to two stroke pocket bikes. What do you guys reckon? Stick it in the comments. That's a wrap.